here in the post show where we answer your questions every week about the topics that we, we have, have discussed. We've got Panasonic Solar on the line. We've got Fronius USA. I know it's a little bit off our normal topics. Normally we talk about live streaming and video conferencing, but um, Smart AV is asking if you've ever done any installations in Turkey. I haven't worked myself in, in any projects in, in Turkey. But we do have, I think, a manufacturing plant. Uh, so wow. and there, is, there is a solar market there. I have no experience on that. Well, with us, with us, we are, you know, our, our parent company, our headquarters in um, Austria. So we have a very large footprint in the uh, EU. So uh, we have things there, but we can't speak on them because we're primarily focused upon the USA market. Okay. Um, again, thank you all for doing this. Um, oh, and Sirius Live's asking how big is our office that we're powering. So we actually have a 225 uh, panel array as well. So it sounds like Fronius, you guys have a very similar array, potentially maybe even a similar office size. Um, that's a good question. Uh, gosh. I know that here's our dashboard here. So as you can see, um, we're, pow we're creating 37 kilowatts and it goes up and down. It's 100 degrees here today. It's a sunny, sunny day here in Philadelphia. It's Well, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, right? But, um, <laughs> you know, that, that just gives you an idea. That's the whole year. So you can see we're in the summertime. We're really getting up there in the power. Um, We've got 30 employees, big office, tons of electronics and computers and lights and things. So I, it's a big office. I, 30 people work here. Not exactly sure. You know, I mean, it's, it's 30 kilowatts. So. so I want to thank you guys again um, for being part of the show, um, Tiffany, Emmett, and David. Um, do you guys have any closing remarks in the post show? Any anything that you want to just say to the crowd? Um, this is going to be shared on Twitter. It's going to be shared on Facebook. I'm going to be using hashtag climate change, hashtag environment, hashtag green, uh, and a couple other things. So I know it's going to get out there. We're going to get a lot of viewers. What do you think you want to say um, to everybody before we before we close? Well, for me, I, you know, I I want to educate the public on. Uh, what solar actually is because most of the time the face of solar is the solar module and people don't realize that there's so many other components and so many people involved with solar particularly at Fronius we have as you said you have a large system and we have a building that's 400,000 square feet but um, and we have solar on the roof but it doesn't cover the whole 400,000 square feet but it's just it's a thing that's coming for the future and as I've said to some of my colleagues you know, by the time your children are your age, solar will be a, a thing like the internet. It will be so ingrained in the public. And with our name, like companies like Fronius and Panasonic, they will be related to those and people will have a different understanding. It'll just be part of everyone's life. Um, while I have you on the full screen there, uh, Emmett, we're getting a question. Uh, do you use batteries for your, um, for your solar arrays? Currently, we are a grid tie system, but we are developing because our current campaign is 24 hours of sun. So we're leading ourselves or all of our equipment towards a foundation of having an integrated hybrid inverter. So look out in the future, probably early 26, 2017, you'll see a product that incorporates all of that technology. Um, okay, so and then we also got another one here. How long does it is it going to take to offset the cost of the panels? So ROI, I can speak a little bit to ours. We spent in the neighborhood of four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars, and the original ROI was supposed to be seven years. Um, what we mm -hmm. found is that the solar panels have been producing so much power, and the electricity costs haven't been going up a lot. If they did, the offset would go even faster. But we're looking at finally having our, our, our everything be paid for on year seven, which would be next year. So after that, it's all just free electricity for the rest of our uh, the office that we have. How about you guys, Emmett? Uh, what do you guys think about your ROI? Where is your office? Well, our office is, is in uh, Portage, Indiana which has historically low uh, electricity rates, but 
you have to think about the context of the entire country. It depends on what your provider is for those services, such as electric. Some places around the country have a tiered system where your electric bill can be five to seven hundred dollars a month if you have nothing to augment it. And it also depends on what your consumption is, because you know there are some people with with new families or teenagers who are consuming a lot of electricity, and then there's some empty nesters who all of a sudden see a decrease in their energy production. So it just it literally depends. If I would say just be involved in your community, uh, go online talk with people, talk with forums, and just kind of get a grasp of how the whole solar impact will play in your life. Because, for instance, you know, some people are buying generators and in the future they'll be buying inverters instead of a gasoline generator. So it, it, it varies depending on jurisdiction and state and um, so forth. All right. Thank you, Ken, for that uh, f- for that. Uh that message there. Ken's just thanking us for, for spreading the word about solar and green energy. I think a lot of people feel passionate about it because it is the hottest year on record and climate change is such a big deal. Although some of the presidential candidates don't even believe in it. Um, but, uh, P- pays Zhao is, is asking, what is the lifespan of a Panasonic solar panel? David, that question. So we, the, the, the warranty of the solar panels is 25 years. And wow. we have panels uh, for working for almost 25 years, so we we, we know for sure that they're gonna uh, that the life span is at least 25 years. But in reality, you can expect your panels to keep performing well over the 35, 40 years, but hmm. there is no warranty uh, after the 25. So that's a fairly serious value add proposition because, like for us. You know, after six or seven years, it's paid for, and we've got a guarantee of at least 20 more years of warranted electricity production, although you're not saying that it's going to stop at that point. And, you know, as Panasonic being the premier highest quality panel out there, I mean, I feel confident in saying those things are probably going to last, I don't know, you tell me, how, how long do you think they could possibly last? I mean, right now we've seen panels, uh, you know, with a lifespan over the 35, 40 years. And the only thing that you need to keep in mind uh, is that there is a degradation. So your panel performs at 100% when you buy it, and there is, it keeps degrading in a yearly basis, anywhere between 0.6 to 0.9% in a yearly basis. So let's say in 25 years, uh, out of the, the 100%, you will be performing 80% of the initial power. Uh, but it's still, you know, it's, a, it's still a lot of power. Uh, Smart AV is asking a great question. And I wish we had our cleaning system installed because we're in the midst of installing it now, five years after we've had the panels. But um, how, how do you suggest cleaning the panels? And I, I know we have a cleaning system that we're installing that works on like water, spritzing them. How do you, what do you suggest there? Well, in the East Coast, I think you have enough rain that, I mean, you can just use any any uh, type of water, yeah, just regular water will, will clean well the, the, the panels. Uh, you know, here in, in places where, you know, you have enough rain, sometimes you don't even have to really clean them. Um, something that's very special about Panasonic, uh, as you know, if you wash the panels, you will have a uh, water that will get stuck in the corners of the frame. So when it dries, it's gonna create water stains. In our case, Panasonic uses a unique uh, water drainage. So when you wash the panels, all the water is gonna flush properly, leaving a much cleaner area and and free of, of water stains. Got it. Well, thank you. I mean, th- and, and everybody who's been part of this webinar, I just wanna thank everybody one more time. Um, I think that's all the questions we really need. We can really take today. Um, any last closing remarks, everybody? Uh, just visit our website um, so that you can gather some information about our products and also gather some information about solar in general because we're very keen on educating the public about products, uh, services, and ability. And we've also come out with a program for certifying installers to help the inverters last for up to 30 to 40 years, which is our FSP program. 
Sounds amazing. Um, well, thank you everybody uh, again. Um, we're going to do our best to promote this video. I'm actually really happy with the way it came out. And um, thank you everybody for watching. We got nine likes and two subscribes, so that gets us to a $31 um, donation to Casa of Susquehanna. So we're going to do that every week. It's kind of a new thing, but it makes me feel good that not only are we talking about the environment, 100% green, but we're donating to a, a noble cause. Um, thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, David. Thank you, Emmett. It's been a great show. I appreciate having everybody. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good day. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody.